Amid the political crisis in Venezuela, with tens of thousands calling on Nicolas Maduro to step down, the U.S. increased the pressure on him Monday by hitting his government's lifeline, its state-owned oil company. We're going to announce sanctions against Petroleus de Venezuela, Sociedad Anima, or PDVSA, as it's known by its Spanish acronym, the state-owned oil monopoly. Uh, we have continued to expose the corruption of Maduro and his cronies, and today's action ensures they can no longer loot the assets of the Venezuelan people. Bolton called on the Venezuelan military and security forces to accept the peaceful, democratic, and constitutional transfer of power to interim president Guaido. Appearing to feel the international pressure, Venezuela's foreign minister Jorge Areaza made an offer to the U.S. earlier Monday. Remember that Commander Hugo Chavez said, and President Maduro confirmed thousands of times, if it's necessary to meet with President Trump, or if it's necessary to meet with the devil to have relations of peace and respect between our countries, we would do that. But I'm not saying that Trump is the devil. Analysts say the oil sanctions may deliver a devastating blow to Maduro. This is the nuclear option. I mean, this is sort of the, the most powerful weapon the U.S. has, short of military force at its disposal. The U.S. has been reluctant to impose oil sanctions because the two countries have been interdependent on Venezuela's crude oil for decades. Cindy Sane, VOA News, the State Department.